Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my Disney Infinity tutorials. Now as you'll see here is we're doing a Rogue One mission. Uh, so I've picked Ezra because he looks very much like Cassian from the Rogue One movie, which strangely enough I actually did uh, enjoy. But what we're here is we're on a Rebel cruiser, uh, we're on the Rebel fleet, and we're going to go and attack these two Star Destroyers that happen to be protecting the shield gate over Scarif and there is the shield gate that we've got that we've got to destroy so our mission in this particular level is to destroy that uh, shield gate okay so on our fleet that we've got we're gonna send our little X-wings to attack that so you'll see we've got our X-wing ships they're gonna fly down and they're gonna bombard that gate and our job is to try and destroy the gate basically and that's what we're gonna show you now the good news out of this little clip there are several objects that we're going to build and several effects we'll do. So you're actually going to see over the next 10 days about four clips come out, which is not too bad. So you've waited a while for my next clip, but you're suddenly going to get four. So hopefully you're going to like this and let me know what you think. So what we've got is got a slight trigger area here. So when I go into that trigger area, it sets my ships off. They're going to now fly down on their various patterns and bombard the shield gate. So as they go, they fly in and they've got their own set patterns as they fly through. Now the difference with this one is to my last one which was the Separatist space station was the ships just flew around and I thought well this is going to be a big battle they're going to be exploding they're going to be shot down so if we just look at some of these ships flying through you'll see as they fly through they do actually get shot down they do blow up and then they fly off again so they're in a constant loop and they don't stop but they'll occasionally and randomly choose when they blow up and when they don't blow up so they fly through the ships and they're getting shot down so on my, I think my third click up, I'm going to show you how to do that. But let's get into level. Let's go and help our guys and get in our own fighter, and let's go and blow up that base up. Now, as you'll see, I've mastered how to create circles out of uh, square bricks. Yeah. So you'll see that we're going through a run of these, and at some point I will do Cloud City. Yeah, that's the third object, and then I'm done with my circular buildings. But just to prove a point that I can build other objects. As I just flick this ship round, what you'll see here is I've built a rebel cruiser. Yeah, I've done a blockade runner. Now, someone asked me to do a uh, the medical frigate ship, and I couldn't actually work that out. It didn't look right; it was too big. But I got this to work. So, on my second clip that's going to come out later this week, I'm going to show you how to build this uh, CR90 Aldran cruiser or um, or rebel cruiser, whichever it's called. I think this is a Tantalus IV Princess Leia ship. So I'm going to show you how you can build that. But what we're going to do in this game is mainly concentrate how we build the uh, shield gate. Okay, so this clip focuses on that shield gate that we've got. So I've got the TIE Fighters attacking us. And as you can see, my uh, uh, flying hasn't improved at all. It gets a little better as the clip goes through. Now, with it being a shield gate, the shields are activated. So they are, if you fly into them, you'll die. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly down and we're just going to zoom into the shield. If we go below this where the shields are on, boom, it kills us. So we can't fly down to the planet surface. So we have to take the, the shield gate out. So we're going to get into another ship and we're going to fly through. Now I've tried to copy it so you can fly in between because you know in the film they flew down between the little rudders and screens. So I've tried to make it as close to it, but it's not possible with the shapes that you've got with bricks. But I'll try to get as close as I can, but I want to be able to fly in between the groups. You can jump in and fly between the groups and do that. So that's the plan of this. And like my other clips, I've show, I've actually got the plan. So look on the link of my YouTube page because I'm going to show you the plans to download this. Now the plans are just basically three circles. Uh, and it's how you position those up. And I'm going to talk you through those. So download the plans and we'll go, hopefully help you guide you through building this same same building. But I'm pretty sure this shield gate could be built on um, Minecraft or even in actual Lego. So again, it, another building clip at the moment, but we are going to show you some programming techniques over the remaining three clips that are coming through. Right, so as you can see, this, uh, this shield gate is not getting destroyed. We're shooting away, nothing is happening. So my big question is, how do we stop a shield gate? Oh, look, hold on. There's a Star Destroyer here, and these Star Destroyers have got little targets on them. And if you remember from the film, they got a Star Destroyer to crash into the Shield Gate. So guess what we're going to do, guys? We're going to get that Star Destroyer to crash into the Shield Gate and deactivate the Shield. So to help us do that, we've put some targets on the Star Destroyer. And if we shoot all those targets, that Star Destroyer is going to lose control and it's going to go crashing into the Shield Gate. And yes, the reason for the length 
the delay for my list between my last clip is it's taken me a while to get that effect to work but it's quite cool so uh, you're going to like that and again I'm going to show you how to do that explosion in detail in another one of my clips that's going to come out in the next uh, week or so now my health's a bit low so I want to try and see the whole thing so I'm probably I'll take that last one in a moment right so what we'll do is let's, let's go back through the shield so the shield just to prove a point we go down fly through the shield is still dead right so let's fly back out now we're going to do a po and go to that cruiser head on right if we take that last one out that should take out the star destroyer so let's go head on like just do a po in as we go forward right get that last target ah got it and the star destroyer is gone it's now damaging, it's now on a slow pass as it loses control, it's going to crash into that uh, Star Destroyer. Now, the one thing I didn't want to do is, in one of my other clips I've done, I had to shoot down a Star Destroyer, I wanted this to look like it was out of control, so it's actually tilted at an angle. It doesn't actually go pointed, it wants to be slowly losing it, and as it moves down you'll see we'll get little explosions. So I'm going to keep moving because I've got to keep alive here, but let's see if we can get that Star Destroyer to crash and see if I can get you to see it. Those annoying TIE Fighters, but you'll see it's falling down, there's smoke coming from it, it's damaged. Alright, and when that crashes into the base, that's going to deactivate the shield, and that is our, part, our mission complete. Yeah, so it's coming through, it's getting close. Here it's going, here it goes, it's going to crash into it. Kaboom whole thing smashes through and it's whole blowing up look at that smashes it and the shield has been taken down right now if I fly down below this while it's all on fire you'll now notice I don't blow up anymore the shield is done this part of the mission is is correct now this by the way is only half of the level that I'm working on uh, I've already built the base below it so that there's going to be actual section below here where we have to go and set transmit the plans of the Death Star so we're going to have two layers on that and that's going to come over the next few weeks as well. That's going to come a little bit later as I still work on, work on the level. But I wanted to try and push as much of the memory as we could. And you'll see my Star Destroyer all smashed up. Alright, so that really is our clip. I hope you, if you like that, by the way, tag a like. Let's get people still showing that people like playing Disney Infinity. And that's one of the reasons why. But as I say, for the rest of this clip, I'm going to show you how to build the shield gate. So let's go and show you how we do that. Right, so building on a blank canvas, empty toy box, what we're going to do actually is we're not going to build it bang in the centre. And the reason for that is we are going to add to this level. This level is actually going to get larger. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a uh, water cube, which I know is strange because you're thinking we're doing the shield gate. But what we're going to do is I want to create the surface of uh, Scarif a bit later on. So I'm placing that as low as I possibly can. Right, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place those big chunky box I want seven of those boxes yeah and the reason I want seven is I've already measured out the height of the satellite dish with the base yeah so I need seven boxes right that's just to set the level which is good and then what I want to do is I then you can delete those now I've got the height of where I want it I'm now going to delete those boxes out so keep the top one on and now delete those boxes out yeah so we're playing the sh placing the shield gate really high up on the ground and that gives us the option to have the, the map below. So to give you an idea while we do this, just to give you an idea on some of the things we've got, uh, I've got an appeal transporter clip coming, I've got uh, one of those, the, you know on the Scarif, the actual transporter lift that goes between the building and the uh, landing bays, we're going to show you one of those clips as well. So all those are going to come over the next few weeks and so you won't have to wait too long now. Right, so grab your plans and using your um, uh, terrain tools we are going to create that first inner circle straight away this nice little block here now we don't need the full circle but we will do to start with right and the reason for that is uh, it's easier to go all the way around and then we'll cut the bricks out afterwards so all I'm going to do now is just going to do the first circle at a different point in this clip I'll speed these up but using the plans on my on my list this is circle level one okay so we'll do the first circle the inner the intersection right and I had to make sure it was big enough 
for the transporter that we're going to build in about I think clip 5 or clip 6 um, how we build that so it looked like it could fly through and fit through the actual shape and we build this through but my main challenge here wasn't actually to build the, uh, the the gate was what I wanted to do is I want the game to switch between space battle then a land battle and switch between the two and I'll explain it a bit later as we go on through this clip but here's our that's our whole gate there which is fine so what we can do now is we can get rid of the land that can go off the screen which is good okay so that's our that's the hole for the last the bottom level of our shield gate okay so what we can do now is we can add the other level going around the edge of this screen now I've done it so they're exactly three bricks away so you'll see I've got a brick and then we can do the next level so it's exactly three bricks and now I've picked the middle block I'm gonna now go around there and do the second level and I'm speeding this up because there's a lot of me building here and I didn't want it to be too boring so I'm just going to build the other the other brick going across so you'll see suddenly we'll have the two levels but follow the two plans and do the, the two circles going around the base so we'll just speed that up for you and hey presto as we come through there we go oh, it looks something like that and there is my shield gate now this shield gate, even if you don't do the, the rest of the Scarif, that whole level should work on most people's consoles. Yeah, So I've set that up so it should work on that screen. Right, now what we need to do is the next circle is going to be higher up. Yeah, It's going to be a slight higher from this particular screen. Right. So what I'm going to do first is these boxes can now go, right? because now I've got the circles, I can fit them with a flat box. I can save my memory yeah, and actually use the bricks that I've got. You'll see I can see a whole brick in its place instead of using the, the single ones. So you just see I'm just going to get on two of the ends. I'm just going to get rid of these little blocks here. So you can see I get another three here and I'm going to delete these items. So I create them first and then I remove them to get some more memory freed up. And this does actually have an effect. You'll be amazed how much you can save by just utilizing the bricks, not having too many bricks. Okay so that's that section and I need to do the same on the other side. So you'll see now I've done two sides and the other bits, on the, on the base of it, I didn't realise, but it's not a complete circle. Right, so when you've done two sides, and only two sides opposed to each other, we need to go to our slopes on our terrain and we're looking for this very long thin block. And this fits actually flush to that area. So just look, as you'll see, as long as it goes across the two, it fits flush like that. And what we do here is to have the slope through, we want four of these stacked up going across. Okay, now we leave the mid up middle one blank because we're going to put some turrets in there. Like I said, try to get it as close as I could possibly get. Okay, so that now is our sloping section, which we're now going to do the other circle. Okay, so that's that section done. And then we can go back to our flat bricks so and we can flatten that through there on the screen. And we need to do the exact same on the other side. So four boxes on the other sloping area. So that's what we need to do on both those two. Okay, so we'll just speed that up. And there are the two sides done. Okay, so we've got the two sides either side on the screen. Now, I think the reason why I did the shield gate was the problems you find with the separatists and the Death Star level yeah, is that they do take up a lot of memory and it doesn't leave you much air in it. and this allows you to have the big structure as well as um, uh, other activities going across now you're just seeing here at the end of that slope I'm just putting an extra ridge on the end of that little section there so just a ridge going across singular on the screen so that's not on the plan so you need to make sure you follow that part so sorry if this one is just building but we are going to get back to some programming and the, and the special effects of how that Star Destroyer crashes and that comes in clip 4 out of this particular series okay so what we're going to do now from that middle part okay we can now do our circle so making sure we're banging the middle so that there is the middle point All right we go straight up yeah and we go to the edge there and what we're going to do here is now we're going to do the larger circle of the two yeah and we're going to speed this up as well but now you're going to go do the next circle 
going all the way around the edge on that level. And that's the higher section. And we'll speed that round. Which is all very good. All right. So to speed that up, we will do that circle on the clip so you'll see that circle go through on the screen. So as we now come to the completion of this circle, we should hopefully have fitted it perfectly. Always get worried looking at the plans if I'm have I got it right. But yeah. So we've now got the circle complete and it goes all the way around. And if you've done it right, it will fit perfectly on the other side of that slope. So as you can see here, we've now got the, the basis of our circular base here, which is quite good. And there we done. So now we need the the larger circle going around the edge and we need to measure that section out. Now to measure that we know that it's the number of boxes okay so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to measure out the section from this side so from here you'll see oh, I've just got a tall and there's three boxes that is six so the outer circle is seven boxes to the side so you'll see there are two threes and that gives us seven so we can now do the outer circle so taking my plans that larger circle plans we're now going to expand that going around the edge so it gives us a quite size but the nice thing about this level and I did just briefly mention is that these bricks it's not as deep as a, a separate space station or not as big as a death star so therefore it doesn't actually gobble up a lot of memory so we are going to have to be careful with the number of bricks that we use to free it up because we're going to add a load more other items to this object but it's a relatively small object so it's not too bad and that was one of the reasons why I went to build this next instead of Cloud City. Cloud City will come by the way but uh, it depends whether that is the next one I'm not too sure a lot of you are asking different lots of trips but we'll see we'll see how that goes we'll see what, what what I fancy doing in the meantime but I'm just going to speed this up now as we create the other circle so let's just now do a little bit of fast forwarding so you don't fall asleep and if we go all the way round dun 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 we now have that down there so we now have that circular base going all the way around and that middle bit now is not actually needed we can get rid of that, that can go so that there can be deleted okay but now we have the base of our, our, our circular section right so before we start building the uh, other blocks in what we're going to focus on now is actually where we have the docking for the Star Destroyers because I'm setting two slots up where Star Destroyer can dock either side so what I do is I wanted to create like a V shape, right? Now I'm going to mix terrain tools with basic shapes, and you can do that, which is not too bad. And we're going to have to be careful when we colour these items in, but at the moment it's not a problem. So you'll see here we're going to have two boxes which we're going to place here in the middle. Yeah, and some of these we're going to delete afterwards, but just to put them in at the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to just use the long triangle pieces and just stack them out. And you need five of these, okay? And strangely that fits the perfect front of a Star Destroyer as you'll see. Now for some strange reason I got confused here because look I'm trying to find the shape it's the same shape but backwards. I don't know what I was on I just got I just got, I think it was too late when I was doing this clip but you'll see here I'm trying to find the opposite but it isn't it's the exact same shape so it's the same one and all you do is just flip it around and do the reverse backwards. And if I stack it this way I get the bar that comes forward okay and then do the other get the other one so we'll do this on the other side so I want five of these and that is the same shape as a nose cone of a Star Destroyer which is quite handy. Right, now we are going to delete some of these objects afterwards but don't delete them at the moment because we still need them to help us point certain uh, sections to it. So I'll put that back across in there. Now obviously we can't add a Star Destroyer and add things to it so Star Destroyer is the last thing we're, we're going to do but what we are going to do straight away and I advise you to do this now is we're going to add the cranes because the Star Destroyer won't go on afterwards. So, yeah, so we're just going to go to our cranes, which I think is on the Speedway uh, playset. I think that's where I got it from. So let's go add those two cranes on this particular vehicle. And we're going to have to also do the exact same on the opposite side. But if we go to our Toy Origins, and I'm pretty sure it's either Takeover or Speedway. I always get confused here. Let's have a quick nosy. Is it Takeover? Uh, takeover? Nope. No, it's not it's on the Speedway one. So these little sets which if you can find on eBay and stuff like that if you can get these little things they're about a few few little pounds 
So I've always wanted this crane, I haven't found a use for it, now I have. Now I've got my use. I'm just going to stick this on the edge of this box here. They're my two cranes. And I got this idea roughly from the uh, Battlefront 2 game when you play Starfighter Assault. Right, we'll speed up and we'll do the same on the other side. So I repeat the exact same on the other side, so we've now got both options. Now in my clip, I only have one Star Destroyer docked. You could have two if you wanted to, but again, don't want to use up too much memory. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're now going to build, we want to be at a particular level. Now I've set this up on purpose because it had to be big enough to fly through it. So one thing I checked, and I also checked the pillars as well, that I need the pillar to be actually three high. So I'm just going to get a three high box there. And then the next level will go exactly up. So it's not level, it's going to be slightly higher than it, just a fraction higher on that box. And what we're going to do now is going to go round completely and put in the next level on. So let's go and speed that up and get that next level on. So you now see as we finish this off, which is so the gap between that and the one below is three bricks. And you'll see that we stop when we get to the triangular section. So we stop there, we leave that gap open. Yeah, you'll see we don't fill it in, it's just left there with a the gap. And that goes all the way around, and you'll see when we look up in a moment, you'll see the same on the other side, we've taken that, there's a gap off there, but we've got that outer rim going round, which is not too bad. Yeah, that works quite well. Okay, and that's, that's going to be the thickness of our, our base. Right, now taking those bricks, we've got to do the same level because it's, it's twice as thick. So we're going to grab that box there. No, no, it's now three boxes. And we're going to do the exact same for the inner one of the two. So there you see, you'll see it lines up quite nicely. Okay, and we're going to go around now and just stick those on. And if you look at the angle here, which I didn't realize on previous clips, you can line them up quite nicely. So now we're going to go around these boxes and put this level on. So this is the top part of our uh, shield gate. So try not to bore you, I'll speed this up and then we'll get the level done to show you what that looks like. So let's speed this up and see what it looks like now. So there we go, as we come to here, nearly finished. Obviously, save as you go along. <laughs> I know, I don't, really, should I need to say it? But yes, you do. Yeah, so keep saving it. And if you've got a USB stick, save it to USB stick until the whole thing corrupts. Okay, so we've now you'll see I've got the linking them all the way through, so I now have the whole area going round. So that now is the thickness of it. Doesn't look like a shield gate yet, but it's getting there. But there you can see the two levels, which is all right. And down below we'll be able to see the shield when we get when we put that in at a later date. Okay, so what we're going to look at now is we can break up these points. So I'm just going to delete this section off now, right? Because what I want to do is I want to fill this in and have it like a dead on the diagram. So you'll see on the, the handout on the link on the YouTube page, I'm going to take away as many bricks as possible and fill those in. So again, you'll notice there's a gap of three. So we can do three boxes. There was four there and four there. Then you can see there's three, so those two bricks can go. So we can get rid of those two. Yeah, and we can chuck the item in. Now, if you watch how we do this, the filling in the bricks, yeah, and I've got these on the documents to show you. So you'll see how it comes down. There's a number of three, ranges of three. Okay, so we can build that down to another three on the list as well, so we can get rid of that. Right, so what we can do now is we're going to space this like this particular shape. I say look at the diagram to have a look at the shape, but we've now got it so it almost goes round and then stops. Yeah. And I need down to do the same for each four of those corners. So look how I've broken it down and, and that little point area. And I'm gonna do the exact same to the other side. Which comes in handy. So we're gonna do that with here. So go to this corner, try and merge those together. You can see I can fit three bricks in there, so get rid of that, get rid of that, and let's fill those in. So three bars. Another three bar we get rid of. So 
So it's not too bad. And then we're going to use the triangle tool to smooth out the edges. These do need to be a little smoothed off out, but we need to do that on all four points. So I'm going to speed that up now so you don't have to see that all happen again. Uh, that should look symmetrical. So now you'll see all four dun 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 have been done, which is not too bad. And then the triangle piece, which I can never see, is that one. I just missed it there because so I'm looking for that. That's a too big a box. So again, where is the little box? But it actually looks like a giant brick, but that is a little tiny one. You'll see me go back and forth like a yo trying to find this thing. But it looks a lot bigger than it is. But that next one to it, you'll see that's way too big. Yeah. But if we do that one, which is tiny, that we're going to then take out and rem out, just smooth out all the edges. And we'll also do the back of it as well. So any pointed edges we're going to get rid of. And therefore, now when you look at it, it now looks like that. And it's all smoothed out, not jagged. That looks quite good. And that gives us the shield section at the bottom. So that there we're happier than we're done with that. So that's good. So we've now completed the lower section. Which is not too bad. Right, so what we need to do here is on this lower section we need to put that triangle through the rest of the ship. So we need to go round the base. So on the inner circle, can you go round and smooth that? Only on the inner side can we go and do that. Um, right, so that's that one done. So you now see, look at that bottom level there, all the inside at the bottom level is now smoothed out. That's quite handy. And obviously now we need to do it on the higher level side, so just on the, this is all on the inner side. Just put the triangle blocks in and just go through, smoothing that all the way around the edges to make it nice and smooth. Oops, no mistake there. So we'll just change that. And then we'll set that back. So move that back in, and we'll move that around. So now you see the two inner, inner the circles have now all smoothed out, and quite handy. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to have obviously the solid areas of the base. Now if we look at the ranges that we've got of the inner circle, we have a number of couple of bricks, but it's where you'll see the two bricks before a series of three in line. You'll just come down here. You'll see here there's a series of three all linked together. So there's two br bricks there, so there's two bricks, and then it goes to a series of three. So that is the line that we want to take. Okay, and I have labelled it on the diagram, I'm sure I have in your notes. But if you go across down there, where you can see the two bricks, so there's the two bricks, so one, two, three, so it's those two bricks there. Right, so on that case there, if we do it right, it should fit perfectly in this box. So we click onto that, and we now put them all the way across, now that there is where the base finishes and cuts off. So what I need to do now is do that the same on all around that section of the uh, base. So this is not as straightforward as your separatist or death star because we have to mix and max this ship. And if I want to know how I did this or I came up with the idea, basically I did the circles and then I just carried on playing around looking to see what worked. So I think I've done the shield gate I've done about four times to get it right, which is not too bad. Right. So same thing again. Let's grab another box and let's do the same thing again on the other side. Now when we've done that, everything that's on the ends those edges, we're going to have to do the little triangles to smooth all those out, which you'll see in a moment. Alright, and I've already done them all now, I think I have. Let's have a look. Oh, one more, we haven't done the bottom over this same screen. Right, cool. That should now be, we now have our structure that's not looking too bad. There you go. That's not looking too bad at all. Right then, so 
now that frame is in place we can now smooth out the edges on the inside and the outside of those, of those support beams so using the same corner edge we can now do the in part because this is the hollow part of the shield gate yeah the other part the two ends are solid but as these are the hollow parts we can now fill these beams to give them a thicker support beam going around the side and you have to do this on the upper section and on the lower section so you'll see here I'm doing the inside ones now and I'll have to do exactly the same down below as well so I'm just doing it on both sides and I can smooth this out so I'm just going with these on and these are those two outer beams and then we're going to do the support beams that go up and down at an angle as you saw from the beginning uh, the support beams that we have on our ship which looks not too bad I'll fit these round and again I'll speed this up to help make things go a little bit quicker so you'll see here I'm now fixed this issue for both the tops. Oops, made a mistake there. But obviously I've got to do it for the top part, but I also as you'll see the bottom lower level is has got to be on show because that's going to be on show as well. So I've got to do exactly the same now and fill in those support beams. So you'll see now the top section's got two lovely smooth curves up to those points. They work nicely, but I have to read the repeat the same now for the middle section now for those bits below it so we're going to do the same now for the bottom part of the uh, shield gate so now you'll see me flying through putting all these little corners in so this is the lower section and now you'll see the top and bottom are perfectly smoothed out we don't have to smooth out the inside triangles because that's what we fill in but now we're going to do the diagonal support beams that fit in between this section Okay, and I've labelled this in the diagram as well, but we're going to go back to our basic shapes. And there's a certain layout to this, and again, this purely came by straightforward, but there's this diagonal slope here. Okay, and we're going to do them going down, and we need these uh, from, the, uh, from our pillar. And they're going to go up or down, depending on which order you choose them to go through. So they're going to carry on going up and going listed up here on the screen. Now to do this... In our group, you'll start from the section, so you've got one, two, it's the third line in. So you do third line in and you just do the pillar going up. And you should, as you get it going up, a, get a perfect match that fits perfectly on the side, which is not too bad. Then get the reverse slope coming down and get that option going down like so on the screen. Okay. Now, the next pillar is in the opposite direction and it's actually five uh, blocks down. So it now, it now goes in five. So the first one is three, the next one is five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. That's where the next one goes. But it has to go in the opposite angle. So it's got to be twisted the other way around. So if I get the right one, whoops, I should go back to the original one I had. That's the one. That's the one you want. So I want it to go down so it's a crisscross type action. So just to check again, we've got the first one on here. Ready? So we want five. One, two, three, four, five right bring that right up to the top fill it level and now go down now occasionally these ones go slightly over because it because it obviously changed shape it doesn't fully match but it doesn't actually matter because look it does still fit flush yeah so i'm happy with that so i'll confirm that on that screen there and then obviously i need the underneath ones to go back perfect right and then i need the little triangle which i can put at the bottom just so it goes like a hand grip so let's get that little triangle there you go and twist that round and we stick that underneath there so same thing goes applying there and now it's five all the way for the rest of the line all the way down to the end so in this case we get the next brick so we're going to go down the opposite direction and taking from that point it's going to be another five so move it across one two three four five that's where it goes down and they are now evenly spaced and you do that throughout the rest of the rest of the lot so the first slope is three from the edge and then it's five all the way through to the end and it will be perfectly evenly matched which is quite handy and these we have the support pillars that you're just big enough to fly your ship through but you have to fly through carefully because if you watch the Rogue One film the the X-Wings flying between these uh, and it's not exactly like they show in the film but again you are limited with what you can do with the shapes yeah, in Disney Infinity, so I was slightly restricted, but it was the best I could get these to work. 
and obviously you need to do this on this side and exact on the other side so again starting from the end three and the five across uh, which works quite well and again we haven't colored the bars in yet but once we start coloring we have to be slightly a little bit more careful on this screen so you'll see there all the bars and we'll then speed this process up for you as well So now you'll see I've done both sides now. So they've got the support beams either side of the hit of the group. So one thing I'm going to do is change the color of them. And at this present moment, I want all the, bo the boxes to be changed. Now, as soon as I do this now, it's going to set this in stone. I think one's called, is it modern? Uh, I'm going to set today, which is a nice dark metal type color. Quite like you, this one. This is going to probably be my new color. I do my spaceship here. And here we're just going to set all the bars to that particular group. Now that's the last time we can do that for the blocks because from now on we're going to have colour whites for the um, Rebel Cruiser and stuff like that but it now gives you a nice dark edge on the screen and those sections there look quite good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of these, these are no longer needed. Yeah. Right, but you only delete four. Keep the other ones in place because I want the, a, a walkway between the two so you just stop it there, I just do that last section on the end. And what I thought I'd do here is I'll do like a control panel, like a, a window screen where the guards sit. So I'm going to create some blocks on here and I'm going to give it like a glass effect. Okay, so we're going to get some shapes on here and we can move these across. Now the colour I'm going to do here, you see I've just done one. Uh, I'm going to try and find a particular colour one and I think it's the chrome one was the one I wanted to pick from this list. As you'll see me scrolling through and trying to find it. Where is it? Where is it? It wasn't the black tile. It's definitely the chrome one, because the chrome one's got quite a nice gloss to it. And we'll find this shape. Where's the colours? All different colours. But you'll see, I'm only doing one first. And now I don't press triangle to theme because it's going to mess it up. I just want this set, so I'm actually going to press square to set the theme. Yeah. And now, now it's the theme is set. Every time I use a shape, they're going to be those colours. So in this case, you'll see here I'm doing the lo longest one going across. And then I want a little triangle now for the front part, so we want one of those little triangles. Where is it? Can find it. There we go. There's a little triangle come up, so it comes up a little slight angle here. Perfect. Oops, I missed that slightly. It's got to be in line. I'm gonna to have to delete those and take those back. I've rushed that. I also realised I've been. It took a while for that to sink in. I made a mistake there. So all those go across. And now I need the reverse side going the other way. And we set up our little display. So then while I build that, what I'm just going to explain to you here is that the reason for this, the idea, like I say, for this toy box, was I wanted to switch between air and battle. So although we're building this particular set at the moment with the gate and the ships, and we're going to do that over the next four episodes, the main test that I'm trying to do is that when you've done a certain object of this screen, so once you've done a certain part of the battle, I'm then going to jump you down to the ground where you have to do another part of the battle down on the ground like you have to start uh, setting charges. I haven't quite worked that one out yet. But then once you do that part, before you get into the tower to collect the plans, you're then going to jump back out and take the Star Destroyer out. Once you take the Star Destroyer out, you're then going to jump back down to the ground again. So I want the gameplay to switch between the two from where you are. And because the, the shield gate is covering the whole map, you can't just fly down and do the section. You have to complete that stage. So that that was what the challenge was, uh, and then all this lot came to make that challenge look as realistic as possible. But there you go, there is my control tower, my glass window, which is quite a nice uh, chrome effect, and I need the same now on the exact other side. Yeah, so we're going to repeat that and speed that up and put this one exactly on the other side of the screen. So now you'll see I've got two of those options in, which is quite good. Now we're going to start filling those areas in. Now one thing we want to do is because we're going to have our Star Destroyer here, I want the slope to match. And you can't really fill those in. So I'm going to go back to my terrain tool. Uh, and I'm going to pick the little triangles, not the big giant ones here, but the one, this, this little one here. Now this little one, again, this was purely by chance. Yeah, uh, If you play this back, you look like I've planned this perfectly. But the little one fitted just absolutely two blocks from that screen, right bang in the center. Uh, so it worked out quite well. Yeah, so we've now got that's the gap, that's the ship that's going through. And I'm going to do the exact same on the other side. 
Now, using the uh, the correct terrain tools, we're going to fill in the sides and we're going to fill the bottom and the top of these sections. Yeah, and what you're going to have to do is try and utilize as little bricks as possible. So we're going to go in and fill those areas through. Now, I could bore you senseless while I fill those in, but that's one thing we're going to have to go through and say, right, get, put the tops in, put the sides in. Uh, so we're going to fill those in on the screen and try and make as much space where you get one box to fill as many as possible. And then we're going to smooth out those edges with the triangle section on the side. So you'll see here I'm filling the boxes in. I could have got three in there. I could have got three in that box there. So again, wherever you think you can, you can make the boxes shorter, you can definitely fit three there. Try and fit that in. But I've gone through putting all the tops in and all the sides in. The sides are three deep. But the more, like I say, you can you can be take your time on that one. I've flown through that one for this particular clip, and you'll see now I've got all the slopes going up the side. I've smoothed them out so they're no longer jagged uh, jagged edges on the side as well, which is quite good. And we've now got our inside our base. We can do anything in there. Now for our gameplay, I haven't actually gone inside there. I actually use all that to hide my logic. But uh, at this present moment, that's not too bad. And I've just done that one end on the screen, which is not too bad. Uh, you'll notice I haven't got rid of that bar. That bar's important. Don't delete that bar at the present moment. So we now need to do the exact same thing on the other side. And now your gate's looking almost finished. So here we go. Now we've got the gate finished either side. We've got the 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 more solid in. Yeah. We've got our towels on the screen and our and our bar. So we have to put the fish touch and that is putting a Star Destroyer docked in within the base. Now you can't do that because the bricks are in the way, but you can cheat, which I quite like about this. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to put a path tool in. So I need to position this accordingly from our box. So going from here, you'll see I go one box, two boxes, three. That's three in the box. And we go so three down and then I go six across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's six boxes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a path tool and we're going to then attach a Star Destroyer onto that path tool. Now, now you can't insert a Star Destroyer on its own but if it's not attached to a path it will just sink inside the plate, inside the uh, the graphic which is quite handy. So this is the way to cheat it but you do the Star Destroyer the very last thing because it restricts you for doing certain items so I don't, you wouldn't, as you say I haven't put the Star Destroyer until I've completely finished. So all I'm going to do here is going to draw a path straight along right to the very end of this six. Yeah, in a nice straight line, which is great. But what I am going to do is I'm going to switch that path off. Yeah. So first of all, I can get rid of these blocks. Those blocks are no longer needed. That was purely to allow me to go three down and six across. Yeah. And I'm going to turn that path tool off. Yeah. Now I've got the location. Those blocks can go as well. Yeah. And you must, must switch that path off. That is vital. Otherwise, the ship's going to carry on moving into the base. So all we do is go to the property of that, and we turn that off. Okay. And now the easy bit now is we now grab a Star Destroyer, and we attach it to that path. So we go to our uh, Rise of the Empire uh, playset. We get our Star Destroyer that you instantly unlock with a few sparks, so you don't have to actually do that, there's my Star Destroyer, I can flip that around okay and now you'll see I've left it well away from the ship so I've logged it from the side and now all I do here is do new new path connection and I connect that to the path and I presto by doing that and that grabs it, new path is turned off and instantly is docked now you may not want it as low down, you may want to raise it up so instead of going three down go uh, just come straight back six but that Star Destroyer fits perfectly into that setting, which I quite like. Okay, so what we've got doing here is the last thing we need to do now is just change the, the terrain. So I'm going to use the Guardian of the Galaxy, which is quite a metal train on there. And I think the spacing I used was the Infinity Beyond option. Yeah, I'm going to tidy up and get rid of those bars. But my next clip, I'm going to show you how to build a Rebel Cruiser, and that's where we start the actual game, where we attack the base. Then I'm going to show you how to get the Rebel Squadrons to fly around and, and how they get shot down. And then I'm going to show you how the Star Destroyer crashes in and blows that up. So they're the four clips, including this one, that are coming. I'm also working on the ground 
mission and hopefully I'm going to get that work. If that fails I may scrap it but there is a couple of clips I'm going to show you and one of those is how to build an Imperial uh, um, base. Oh yeah I forgot to show you this bit. This is where I'm just putting the towers, the Death Star towers in the middle. So when I fly down these will shoot on here on the screen to give that last little, extra little effect. Uh, but yeah so that's what I've got planned to show you um, but the uh, PO transport I'm going to show you is the one from Rogue One so I'm going to show you that in the landing bay on the Scarif Island and I'm going to combine a bit of what I've shown you, you know when I did the um, the atta attacking I'm going to show you a bit of that link together uh, and a lot of you are asking me to show you how to set traps and stuff uh, I'm looking into that and I'll uh, get back to you but obviously I've got more clips uh, I plan to have clips at least every month because uh, as I say they get more and more tricky now obviously you guys want a certain level I've got to try and show you so I want to make sure that I'm doing something slightly different or a variation of what I've shown before but at least it's just taking something and looking in a different way I quite like this over my other my last two ones, the Death Star and the Separate Space Station because it's quite a large um, base uh, yet it still doesn't take up much memory and here you'll see I'm just changing the uh, landscape for the whole landscape for the entire uh, thing. Which looks quite cool. I don't have to leave here, I can then zoom out on here. And there we go, that is our uh, shield gate. Look out for the Star Destroyer attack because I'll show you how to make the shield actually activate so you can't fly through it. But when it finishes off, it doesn't look too bad. I was quite pleased with that. Uh, gives you enough options you can fly through. Set some targets up. Now, I hope you like that one. Don't forget to tag it uh, if you do like it. Uh, and I'd love to hear your feedback and stuff, so keep sending it through. Uh, I'd say it's taken a while to put this all together, but I hope you like it. And I'll get the other clips out for you over the next few days. So watch out in the space of 10 days, you should see a lot more clips. You won't have to wait for too long for those. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll catch you later. Cheers. Bye.